Hey everyone, today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Lairsar Smart App, which is the app that's used for this Lairsar robot vacuum cleaner. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to this vacuum will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead and pull up the app and look at its settings. First things first, you'll see all of your connected devices right here from the main dashboard of the app. So we're gonna enter into the Mars Zero One. You'll be taken to this screen where we have our map, our current map that we're using and a lot of settings down below to discuss. First, we'll start with the restricted area edit icon on the right hand center of the screen. This is where we can set no mop areas or no mopping and vacuuming areas. Just drag and drop resize as needed right there on your map. You can also add virtual walls and barriers. Same thing, drag, drop and rotate to configure the map exactly how you want it. We also have a map edit option where we can then merge, split, reset, name, custom, and order our map. So here's the merge one. We could choose two rooms to merge. Here's the split. We can choose a single room to split. Here's a reset option. So it resets everything to how it initially was. Then we have our name option. We can rename certain rooms if you want to do that. We have the custom option here. So we can select that room and then we have our different cleaning options for just that space that you can edit. Then you'll see, we'll go back in there. We have our order option. So we could choose a particular room order for how it's going to go about its clean and save all of that right there within the map settings. And then further down, we have our settings option. This gives us more features and functionality for the device. So we have our manual drive option here. If you want to manually drive the vacuum, you can. We can manage our rooms. So this is going to be for all of our different maps. This does support multi-level mapping. We have two maps currently saved right now. We can look for our machine. We have our schedule here. If you want to set it up on a schedule, choose the time, which days of the week you want it to repeat. All of that can be accomplished right there. We have our suction settings. Eco standard strong or super strong, water level, low, medium, or high, resume clean, customize mode. We can toggle those on or off, voice and volume settings. You can choose your language. Here's our cleaning history and archive right here. Here's our first main clean. Look at the navigation there, row by row, guaranteeing all that great coverage that's actually going to clean everything on your floor versus a random sporadic clean. Then we have our life expectancy of our filter and brushes. So you know when it's time to replace. Do not disturb settings. Here's our different cleaning mode options. We can view device info and then our current state. We don't have the mop installed and it's currently in the sweep mode. We could do sweep and mop or just mop or just sweep. And then further down on our main screen here, we have our smart clean, our pin and go. We can select rooms or zones to clean and our auto recharge setting where we can just send it back home to recharge. So pin and go is pretty cool. You're just going to go ahead and select an area and that's where it's going to go. Select a room. You get the idea. Just pick and choose the rooms you want it to clean. Zone, even smaller than that. So just add a cleaning area right there. We can add another one right there how many times you want it to clean one or two times, and then it can go and start cleaning there and then auto recharge, initiate that. It's going to go back home and charge. So it's a simple and clean and easy app to use and navigate to find exactly what you're looking for. 